has the advantage over Foul God. I'd probably say in about one or two sets, but the fact that these guys are going to be fighting for something much bigger on the line, I feel it's going to be a lot more pressure on them. Yeah, but have either of these guys ever made it to Grands in Winterside before? Um, not that I'm aware of, actually. I There's don't think so. Like, it might I mean, be the first uh, time for them. Falgod's made it to Grands, and JW's made it to Grands. But it's always been in the majors, right? Falgod made it to Grands one time where he beat Chris. I know I know for that, but for JW? I yeah, when I mean, you played him last week. Oh, yeah, that you is true. You're right. You're right, right, right. So they both made so it to Grands before, but they've never uh, never done it in winners. Yeah, so. And that's completely different. One of these guys going to get the normal, where they're going to be potentially in Grands again from losers. And one of them, for the first time, actually going to be coming from Winterside. Yeah. So either way, we're going to see something we haven't seen before. Watching both these guys, it makes me want to play their character, and then I play it, and it's like... No, it's like you can't. No, I don't it's like <laughs> their movement is so slippery it's and so tricky. It's so wonky. I know, and it's like they're like complete opposites. Greninja feels he feels like you're trying to play a frog. He just kind of like flops all over the place. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense, and he feels slimy. Oh, and we already got the Greninja combo. Oh, oh he no. misses, but he follows up. Oh, now that's one of the unfortunate things with uh, Greninja down air is that even though if it hits the person or if it hits their shield, if it's like. If it hits their shield when it's a bit tilted, then he would still get the vertical downwards um, momentum still. Oh, really? Yeah. So he just kind of like lands in front of them. Yeah, it's more so a little bit of un being a bit unlucky there. And goes for it there again. Surprised he didn't go for a true Shoryu. Oh! oh. Just stands in place. Yep. That wasn't even like option coverage, but just cover got him anyway. Punishing that shadow sneak yeah. with. Got him that time. Oh, catches oh, the jump. jumped into it. And, yep, oh, free stop. Oh, wow. Good stuff from JW. Dead even game. Can't believe how much that fair does. Oh. Oh, no punish on the Shoryu yeah. on, the, on the stage. I was expecting a grab to come out because it looked really deliberate, so I assumed he, like, understood the situation. But, uh, yeah, no, we didn't get anything out of it. Okay, up air. Too high to get a second follow-up. Oh, air into grab. Oh. Oh. And actually good use of the shadow sneak this time. And again there. Gets out of it over and over again. Now, I wonder if Falgo's actually going to... Keep that as a factor and try to bait it into yeah. get a punish. I can see that. So has to be careful though, because one down tilt by Greninja opens oh, up into an up smash. Tilt. Strong up tilt. Should W taking the first game? And another thing that they're not usually accustomed to when they play each other is that this is the first time probably that they're going to be in a best of five scenario versus each other. Yeah, that's true. Longer sets feel much different than best of threes. And the fact that these guys already go hand in hand versus each other. We can see a lot of adaptation yeah. as the set goes on. All right, All right, we got FD. a FD pick from JW. Or no, from, oh yeah, yeah from, from JW. JW. Yeah. Feels like he's gonna use his uh, superior momentum to bully JW, to bully Falgot a little bit. Just constantly have stage control, I assume, is his plan. Mm -hmm. Right now, he's definitely catching his landings and just walling him out with that forward air. Oh, Tatsumaki's. Up throw, up air. Breaks through that focus attack. Good air dodge from Foul God to not die there. But JW catching his landings wow. and just r rinse and repeating the process. Completely different game. Stage picks looking like it uh, gave JW a little bit of room to like work, and uh, Falga doesn't have like easy landings anymore. If he wants to try and uh, like he can't retreat to a platform after an up air, and he can't. Uh, wow! Good right. conversion. He, really he good shot conversion. us up real quick. He's like, oh, it doesn't matter. I, I have these conversions. Yeah, it's okay. I can still kill you. At, like, if 10%. I catch your landings as well, I could yeah. kill you just as early. But uh, yeah, he can't land with focus attack on this stage either. 
is what I was getting at before I was so rudely interrupted <laughs> by Fall God. Oh. oh, bad whiff. And tries to. <laughs> I feel like he tried to get out a Shadow Sneak. Yeah. Oh, oh. okay. Sends him in the air, yeah. Oh. Oh. Has to follow up. And good oh, Shadow Sneak conversion wow. turnaround. Oh, that we is thought. nonsense. Yeah. Shadow Sneak, man. First you see him, now you don't. Yeah. Then like, you uh, enter the Blast Zone. I mean, I th I'm not upset because it's Ryu's up tilt. If you can find a way to get out of that, kudos yeah. to you. Um, and that move doesn't send any any person into Tumble, so no. any move that doesn't, that doesn't send Greninja into Tumble, he can Shadow Sneak out. Yeah. Oh, good spacing there from Falgod. Quick 40%. I think that's 60. Yeah, opting for a stage with triple platforms just to uh, make landing a little bit easier for him. Yeah. He ate most of his uh, most of his percent trying to land. Oh, uh, does not go for the um, messes up his running up smash. Oh. oh. Just off smash out a shield. Yeah, very good. I think he's expecting option. a roll, but he got the anti air. And, and another, another one. one. Wow, and just barely kills. enough, despite being a bit stale. That was really, yeah. That was really close. Oh, and almost gets pineapple. It's so hard to tell if you're gonna get clipped or not sometimes. Yeah. Ooh, catches the roll. JW being pretty uh, pretty hard to hit at this point. Yeah, and an unfortunate trade for Foul got there. He got the focus attack, but traded with one of Green Ninja's attacks, so <laughs> wasn't able to get the follow. Gets him right to the ledge. Dash attack gonna take it. That will kill him, yeah. So yeah, JW takes this next stock convincingly, then he's gonna have some good momentum as he gets control with the counter pick. Oh, nice attempt. Iframes though. Text it, or else he'd probably be dead. Oh, and that's the thing with that's unfortunate about uh Greninja's up smash on count on stages with platforms. It's that you'll get the first hit, but it'll never combo into the second hit. Right. Oh, calls him out wow, on the jump again. Very tip of it. Forced to Yeah, oh. he's, I was gonna say he's way too far for yeah. that. He doesn't want to talk to, and I like I get it. But I feel like you sort of have to take the risk, in all honesty, just to get back on stage. Because if, well, we already saw JW just realize, okay, you're gonna shore you then without tattooing. I'm just gonna spray you. Yeah. Spray you, rinse you, send you off stage. And this is a thing that we talked about uh, last time, like we hung out, where it was like, um, if your character has like a really really good vertical recovery, but you use that recovery every time. It stops being a good recovery. Yeah. And so, like, even though it's so hard to punish a Shoryuken, if your opponent knows you're going to do that every single time, it's not a good recovery anymore. Yeah. Because people so, start to figure it out and then yeah. makes it easier to get that stock off. And so I understand that, like, Tatsu is free, but maybe if he had, like, gone high and done it into, like, a focus attack, like, dashed away, I don't know. He's got to mix it up a little bit, though. Oh, good use oh. of that armor. And Town City in the play. Uh, I would assume JW probably banned Lilat then. If this is good. It is good for both yeah. sides. It's just... There's wow. that. There's that, yeah. But at the same time, it's... If both of them can stay alive, okay. Doesn't follow the DI. Falgod's been uh, DIing out of that pretty consistently. Yeah. He knows what to look for. Okay. That was actually a really good pivot grab. Like that was like the last possible frame. Yeah. And he realized that he messed up where he could have had the chance to go for the up smash and calls him out on the landing with the F air. Not enough to uh to stage spike there. Yeah. Okay, forward air and that will take it that time. I feel DI was a bit questionable, but yeah. probably would have took it anyways. I don't know, he was pretty stale. Yeah. Um 
So yeah, Foul God needs this game to stay alive in the winner's bracket. JW kind of fishing for attacks. Like he's uh, he's just throwing out hitboxes. He's not really spacing. And uh, he's eating a lot of percent for it. Yeah. He's trying. Oh my gosh. Thankfully, that dash attack did not cost him his slot. And catching his landings again with these forward airs. True short oh, you and barely enough. enough. Don't matter if it's aerial on Town and City, baby. All right. But since JW turned it over in counter pick favor, uh, he now gets to pick. And I feel like he's What's probably going to try Duck Hunt. Uh, they've tried every stage. Oh, okay, he's gonna go to Smashville. Interesting. But I feel Greninja's quite good like on Duck Hunt, Duck Hunt but would be. And the, he, was showing off that, he was showing off that weird tech he has with the the wall cling stuff. Yeah. Um, so I could see it being a ban. Okay. And that's the thing. Like Shadow Sneak is good for getting yourself like out of jail free cards, but I feel like is it really worth that low percent? A low percent? No, it's it's like one of those uh, the the risk reward uh, factor on it is proportional to whether or not it's going to kill. Like at low percent. Oh, oh he's my dead. God. And on the Smashville platform, yeah, that rip. is it. Yeah, the the risk reward's not worth it at like a super low percent. Like, that's how much? Like twelve percent, fourteen percent, or yeah. something. I don't know. That's like there. That's a fair for Ryu. And yeah, JW. Ever since that shield break, getting flustered. Approaching him not very cautiously, and that Smashville oh. platform again not helping him at all. Already with the Mario Kart lap, and oh. Messes up. Even then, still has JW in a bad position here. So unless JW can get his uh, Greninja combos and bring this back and not get touched for a whole like minute and a half at the least, then... Oh yeah. my god, just Randy Shoryu. That's the classic, man. With F Smash, try to get them to punish. True Shoryu. Yep. That wake up Use that invincibility. Falgod takes that 3 2 and will be in winner's side of grand finals. For the first time ever. And JW is going to have to try to run it back against Poke. Yep. 